Judy and Russ Norris live in Fallbrook, California, and have been married for 43 years. They stay active and enjoy life by riding bikes and spending time with family. Grandchildren. Grandchildren are the light of my life. I have five grandchildren ranging from ages 12 to 3. Ten years ago, Judy began her journey with kidney cancer. The diagnosis was as unexpected as her symptoms. You know, I was feeling great. And then I noticed uh, one evening I uh, went to the bathroom and I passed a large clot, a blood clot. And I knew something was wrong right then. Kidneys are bean-shaped organs about the size of a small fist. They are located above the waist on either side of the spine. Shielded and protected by the lower rib cage, they play a key role in the body's waste disposal system. What doctors do is when a kidney cancer presents, they proceed and do a radiograph and prove that it's ab abnormal. And then they clinically stage the patient by doing a careful history, physical examination, screening blood tests, and determine whether or not this person is likely to have localized or metastatic renal cell carcinoma. Metastatic renal cell carcinoma means the cancer that began in the kidney has spread to another part of the body. Localized cancer means the tumor is only found inside the kidney. Wherever the cancer exists, getting the best treatment is the next part of the journey. The goal of treatment for a kidney tumor is first, if possible, to remove the cancer. A nephrectomy simply means removing the kidney. A total nephrectomy is removing the entire kidney. A partial nephrectomy is just that. We remove part of the kidney, obviously, the part of the kidney with the cancer in it. For Judy and Russ Norris, Judy's kidney cancer treatment has been a long journey. She had her diseased kidney removed and all seemed well. But after five years of being cancer free, the cancer came back. It was a total surprise once again. I mean, I had no aches and pains. I was living, I was retired, and I was living the good life. And all of a sudden, wham. Because Judy's cancer had recurred and spread, her options for treatment were limited. It has supposed to be a pain if there's a tumor somewhere else in the body, then obviously that has to be treated either with intravenous or oral medication attacking the cancers as specific as possible. Judy participated in a clinical trial of an experimental medication designed to kill the tumor's blood supply. In order for a cancer to grow, it has to have a blood supply. Everybody the treatment worked wonders for Judy, who today right looks forward to many more years as a grandma. My grandmother is a great role model. She has fought through many dangerous things and never once even thought of giving in when I would see them and know that I want to be there when they graduate, when they walk, take their first steps, that I want to be there and I want to be an active grandma.